I am Ruru, one of this ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the chamber of sages inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Non one, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself! Look, Nanwan, you're big now. You've grown up! The Master Sword is a sacred blade which even once may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it, it can can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the hero of time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as a hero of time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Say yes, by the way, because it's just gonna repeat, it's gonna be a loophole. But remember, though you open the door of time, in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King, of thieves use it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. You obtain the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with it, and with its power, you became the King of Evil. Its evil power radiated from the Temple of Iru, and in, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in the sacred realm. Namely, this chamber of sage. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Raru, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages make you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by my master sword. Keep my spirit with you and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own.
you receive the light medallion. Raru, the sage, has his powers to yours. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. Non one, we're back in the Temple of Time. But have seven years really passed? It looks like we won't be able to use to some of your some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Finally I can say that we're home now. I can no longer hold back this spoiler. Ugh. I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be the sages who dwell in the five temples. One in the deep forest, one on the high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside the goddess of the sand. Together with the Hero of Time, the Awakened Ones will blind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples, passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikah. Really original name by the way, people. As I see, you're standing there holding a mystical master sword. You really do look like the hero, the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I am sure you know. The cuckoo's girl? Because of the evil's power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you are, actually currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko's village. Do you understand, Dan Juan? Why couldn't you just say me what's there, you prick? You know. You, you prick, stab him in the troth thingy. Anyway, welcome guys everyone to a new part of Legend of Zelda. Okay, enough time, let's play. My name is Oliver the Gimme Tree. And um, as you saw, we're now a holder. We're, we're big. We have a big penis now. So it is time to go and explore the world, shall we? Oh, oh, it's uh, well, it's darker, and uh, as you can see, our equipment, most of our equipment is now blank, meaning we can no longer, we can no longer use the boomerang. Same thing for the slingshot, deco stick, and magic bean, as well as the mask. But that is really stupid. In fact, this is really stupid stuff. Why can't we use the weapon as a children? I understand the weapon as. As an adult, we can't use as a child, but why not the reverse thing? That's dumb if you ask me. Still, let's see what's up. Hey, so what's up everybody in the market? Oh! Oh, you're all zombies now and stuff. Oh, um... I'm just gonna... Oh, oh, there's... Okay. You know what, just play Song Song in... Uh, you shouldn't have that much trouble. Now, a funny thing, it's the only place that is wrecked up in entire Hyrule. What I mean by that is... Uh, Raru said that Hyrule was messed up. 
Like there's monster everyone and stuff. And that is true. There's just one problem. The only place filled with monster is the market. That has been to other darkness. Because as we're gonna see, the world's just fine. The market didn't survive. That, that's something I found weird. Hey, and I activated quick spin without wanting to. Come on. Why can't you quick spin? Anyway, if you see this guy, you'd be like, Oh, you're quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome too. <laughs> Your name is not born, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be surprised. I can build people's minds. If I looked at, at, as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. <laughs> My shop is the only little shop in I rule. Because of the great garden doors, it is fine time for a business like this. <laughs> oh, I can only hope the world gets even worse. The ghost called Poos, a spirit of contracted hatred that appears in the field and graveyard. They hate the world! Young man, if you catch a poo, I will pay a lot of money for it. <laughs> so yeah, this guy will sell you, uh, will give you money for each poo that you bring to him. That is quite nice, but that is not the point of it. Now, as you can see, Everything's fine. Yeah, the world's all bright and stuff, but only Iron Market is crapped up, and I found this quite weird. But now that we're big and stuff, I'm gonna go to the Long Long Ranch. Now you may be acting all like, you know why? He's in Gungamrico Village and stuff, and I'm like, shut up. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> that was that was fucked up. But basically, if you come to Long Long Ranch, you see that. Well, if you go and stuff, uh, there's people missing. I'm not gonna lie. And one thing that I absolutely love about Adult Link is that most ledges now you can jump, just jump over instead of, uh, instead of like if you uh, like, if you was a kid, uh, you, you would have grabbed the ledges and uh, would. Be quite slow, not gonna lie. I hated the climbing speed of a child Link, but now that he's bigger, it's far much easier. But as you can see, there's now gates, and that's weird, and there's this chicken everywhere. In fact, fun thing uh, that's starting to Link to the Past if you hit Kukos enough time. Kuko Madness! <laughs> and they'll deal damage to you, that's just so funny. And they fly towards you and just want you dead. Cuckoo Madness! <laughs> they're just really funny, if you ask me. Now, don't think it's gonna last forever. But you can't chill them, you can't do anything. But try to avoid them. So I'm gonna go and talk to this guy. And now. This guy is not a leader. There are some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the wrench. But don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I had the world working in Ingo powered so much energy into this place. I don't want strangers like you saying anything about bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the wrench to me. I will raise a fine horse and will in win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me 10 rupees and you can ride. Well, ride, shall we? Do you want to hear how to ride? Hell no. I already know how. In fact, it's pretty much simple. You just... And by the way, you have one minute for that. So, if you remember, for quite a long time, which is not this song, but now I don't want to talk to Soria. Why would I do that? Really? Then do you want to talk to me? What? What? Like really, Navi? Who would talk to you? Anyway, just plays a Pona song because now she's she's a big girl now, and she's all like, oh, but. 
Oh, and she's all cute too. I gotta say, I just love Eponas. Uh, this is, without a doubt, my favorite. Uh, I can say animal that we had in the series. Without a doubt, nothing that's uh, that for a lot of people too. But how do you ride Epona? You may ask. Well, you just move the joystick, and um, if you want a little boost, then just press A, and. Um, it will boost and will allow you to jump over fences like that so that's pretty much it there's not much thing to it not much more and that's pretty much it and anyway you want at least 20 rupees when coming here oh and if you want to get down um, from a opponent just don't move and you will press A to get down that's pretty much it hey time's up young man you only pay 10 rupees you're playing around long enough yeah, for a minute. Imagine that in real life. That must be pain. That must be like a punch in the dick, man. No, you already tell me that. You little prick. I gotta say, I hate... Uh, Ingo. Anyway, just call him Pona again. And there we go. She's back. And she will always obey to you. And uh, there's something with it that is real cool. Anyway, just go and uh, come on, talk, talk to Ingo. You're getting better. How about a little race? Yeah, you will only propose that after the second time you enter this thing. One lap around the coral with that horse. Let's make a little wagger. Say fifty rupees. Do it. Let's do it. And you gotta race him. Now this isn't so bad, but you gotta race him twice. Now you gotta use that boost carefully. Just saying. Now you want to take a sharp turn as possible. And keep a maximum amount of boosts. Because boosts are, are good. Alright. And now you go. And during the last quarter you can just overuse your boosts without any problem. Like I said, you shouldn't have any trouble with the first race. However, you gotta race him twice. So, shoot! It might need a little practice for the second race too, so just be careful with that. If the great Ganondorf find out about this humiliation, and I just love how we dance. Hey you, how about another race if you win? You can keep the horse! <laughs> I just love so much how we dance of, of fear and humiliation and now you can uh, slow him down too just uh, just hung him with him and uh, normally this should be something like that uh, now we're we'll just regenerate about halfway through and boost your way like I said you shouldn't have that much trouble with that uh, still, you know, you can have trouble, and uh, it's not always cool. What's up with that horse? Is that a poodle? How did you tame the white horse round right on the nose? I was going to present that horse to Greg Gandalf, but I beat it on race and loss. Short! <laughs> As I promise, I'll give you the horse to you. However, I'll never get leave this ranch. Now, here's the problem, Ingo. I got a horse, you got a fence, and I want to stab you in the dick. So, see ya! And <laughs> he just jump over the ranch. She's gonna want a hell of a leg muscle. Yep, and I just found this real funny. Uh, now, great thing that you want to do, right after you get uh, your horse, you can go back into the ranch and there's cool stuff to do. Not gonna lie, there's uh, cool stuff to do. First stop, if you... Uh, uh, actually, you can just go ahead. As you can see, there's Ingo here and he's like, Whoa, I'm pleased and stuff. So let's just speak to him. 
Hi there, how are you? I am Hingo. I feel so honored to be allowed to work here. <laughs> just, just, just wonderful if you ask me. Hey, look that! It's Melon! And she's all grown up too! Thanks! Thank you very much for the other day! I haven't even asked your, your name yet. Really? Nan one? That's what I thought! You're the fairy ball from the forest that was years ago! Do you remember me? You do? I was sure it was you, because the pony remembered you. Oh, I have to tell you about Mr. Ingo. He was afraid that the evil king might find out about Hipona had been taken away. It really upset him. But one day, all of a sudden, he went back to being a normal nice person. Now my dad's coming back. I can't believe it. But peace is returning to the ranch. It's all because of you. I owe you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Nanwan. Well, you know, you can give me a hand job or something, and maybe then I'll. Uh, I don't know. She's not a prostitute, I forgot. Anyways, uh, with that said, I think we're like almost 20 minutes in this episode. Sweet Lording Jesus. But now you can ride a Pona, and it's just so much more convenient. As you can see, you can ride like real fast and stuff. That's always nice. And we can also cut like. Things on the ground with ease with the ponas rough rough uh, rough thingy. However, we cannot uh, bring her in the village or anything like that. So we gotta deal with that. Now, with that said, we're now in Kakariko villages and. Uh, Next time on Legends of the Ocarina of Time Let's Play, I'm gonna show you the secret that dwells in Kikiriko's village. So, see you guys next time.